Have you ever went to the store and you are wandering around for what feels like hours? I know personally I can get lost in a total wine, but you just can't find the right bottle of wine, so you just pick one based on maybe you recognize the varietal or maybe you really liked the label or whatever. And you get home, you open the bottle, you're really excited, you pour it into a glass and you get all comfy. I don't know about you, personal place is the couch, but then you try the wine and it is so not good. <laughs> it doesn't fit what you were looking for. It sucks the air right out of your mouth. It's so dry. You feel like you're drinking pencil shavings. It sounds like you might be a sweet wine drinker and that is a-okay. Everyone has different tastes. You have different tastes than I do. The next person has different tastes from your cousin, but based on those tastes, you probably know a little bit at least about what you like or what you're looking for. So I am here to hopefully give you some tips and tricks to pick out some wine straight off the shelf before even tasting it and know that it's going to be a home run when you get home. So if you are a sweet wine drinker, you probably know that you like Moscato. Now, Moscato is the probably sweeter, I, I don't wanna say sweetest, because there are dessert wines, but outside of dessert wines, it's probably one of the sweetest whites that you can get. This is because it's got sugar or residual sugar, and that's gonna be something that's common in all of the sweet varietals. They're all going to have some sort of sugar or residual sugar um, that make it sweet. And I'm not saying take a funnel to your cab and dump sugar into it because that is not going to fix the dryness. It's not going to make it sweet when it's already dry, but when they are fermenting and making the wine and aging it and all that stuff, they've got sugar in it. And that is what brings that sweetness right out. So when you're looking at a label, you're gonna wanna look at maybe the sugar content or um, the fruits that are gonna be in the wine, cause that's gonna tell you how sweet it's gonna be. So Moscato is probably a good starting place if you know that you're looking for something sweet. Um, other white wines that could be sweet, um, we like to call them trick varietals, are maybe a Riesling or a Gewürztraminer. How you can tell if they're sweet or dry is simply by just looking at the label. <laughs> I know it sounds super, super simple, very like, duh. Um, but sometimes a dry Riesling is not labeled as a dry Riesling. It'll just say Riesling on it. But a sweet Riesling sometimes will say sweet Riesling. <laughs> so it feels kind of weird to say that out loud and tell you that that's what you should look for. But if you really aren't looking for a Moscato, but you want to try something else that's a white wine and it's not going to suck the air right out of your mouth, try a Riesling. And especially if it says a sweet Riesling on the front, that will definitely tell you that it'll be something that's going to be sweet, but maybe not as sweet as the Moscato. So that's what I would recommend trying next. Um, if you are a red wine drinker, there aren't a ton of naturally sweet red wines, but they also have trick varietals as well, such as this. Merlot, not specifically this Merlot, but a Merlot is going to be a bit more fruit forward. So you're gonna taste the cherry and the raspberry and maybe some strawberry, or even a Zinfandel would also be a good bet. Both of these varietals are pretty fruit forward. And unlike a Riesling, it's not going to say a sweet Merlot or a sweet Zinfandel. The varietal itself is just characteristically very fruity very fruit forward and it's not going to punch you in the face with that dryness that you're finding in those caps and maybe the Syrahs that you really are trying to stay away from. And of course we are missing my favorite color which is pink and the rosé is kind of tough because there is sweet rosés but not a Moscato sweet. There's going to be maybe a white Zinfandel would be a good place to start note that it is also sweet in the red world. But a white Zinfandel, I know it says white in the front, but it is um, a red-ish tint that brings it to that pink rose color um, that you'll really find to be very fruit forward, but also going to be um, a little bit more on the drier side so that you can kind of branch out from those Moscatos um, that you've been drinking. And just to bring it home, there's nothing wrong with liking a Moscato or a sweet wine. But if you are looking to branch out, these are some options that you can try. 
I know that I said that we had one left, but I did um, kind of forget, but also wanted to mention sparkling or champagne. Sparkling or champagne can be kind of intimidating. I know that when I'm picking it out, I, did, I, I don't speak French, so it's hard for me to determine what's going to be fruity, what's going to be sweet, what's going to have those sugars in it just by looking at the bottle. But there's a super simple way that you can tell what champagne is going to be fitting to your taste profile. So if you're looking for something sweet, you're gonna pick out a dough, question mark on the pronunciation, but it is spelled D-O-U-X. Like I said, didn't take French, but dough is going to be the sweetest of the sparkling that you can find. And on the other side, you're going to have brute. There's gonna be extra brute, there's regular brute, there's a couple different things, but it has if it has the word brute in it, which is B-R-U-T, it's going to be on the very driest end of the sparkling. So Brut is the dry and Doe or D-O-U-X is the sweet. But if you want something right in the middle because you're trying to branch out like we were talking about, maybe try, here's a plot twist for you, the one that says extra dry. <laughs> so extra dry definitely threw me for a loop when I was at the store. I did not know that it actually meant fruity because when you have a wine that says it's extra dry, you know it's gonna like suck the moisture right out of your mouth like I said before. So just take the extra dry and that will be pretty fruity. If you just get regular dry, that'll be even sweeter, but that's your scale. So just to recap, if you are a Moscato lover, give a Riesling a try, one that says a sweet Riesling. You can always try a Merlot or a Zinfandel or even a white Zinfandel if you want more of the pink color in your wine. So hopefully that'll help you stay away from those dry wines that you're not really looking for, but also find a new favorite that you didn't know that you were gonna like. So if you have any tips or tricks on how to pick out a wine straight from the shelf, make sure to leave it in the comments below. Cheers.